The ascent of the Zugspitze. It's a must for every climber. Alexander Byrl ensures that everyone reaches the summit safely. Hi guys, my name is Alexander Bayer from Garmisch-Partenkirchen. I am a mountain guide and these are the conditions I like. Wind, snow and steep rock. And now I show you what Garmisch-Partenkirchen has to offer. Below in the valley, not far from Lake Riesersee, is the Olympic bobsled run dating from 1936 when Garmisch-Partenkirchen hosted the Winter Games. Oh. Alexander is greeted by Connie Spies, one of the founders of the Riesersee Bobsleigh Museum. The Ski Bob Center is open every Wednesday. Connie Spies is happy to show us around the small museum. It showcases original sleds and old pictures that tell the story of this fast and dangerous bobsled run that was used until 1966. You can see what a crazy amount of work it was to use a power saw to cut the ice blocks made of Rissasé lake water. A natural ice track with such sharp bends was unprecedented. The athletes reached record speeds of up to 120 kilometers an hour. That's amazing. I'm holding the steering wheel of Bob Germany 1, the historic Bob of the year 1952. Germans won the Olympic gold medal in Oslo. Come to Garmisch-Partenkirchen, visit the Riesersee, and sit right here in Bob Germany 1. Alexander Byro's second recommendation takes us to Partenkirchen and historic Ludwig Street with its quaintly painted houses and many small shops and restaurants. High above the town is the pilgrim sanctuary of St. Anthony. In my spare time, I often go for a walk to the chapel of St. Anthony and enjoy this beautiful panoramic view over Garmisch-Partenkirchen. The chapel of the former St. Anton Franciscan Monastery was built in 1704 and dedicated to St. Anthony of Padua. He's the patron saint of the poor and the oppressed. Now to an exhibit about the man who wrote the never-ending story. That's a book by the acclaimed children's author Michel Enda. Born in Garmisch in 1929, he created many memorable figures. Lommeland is the hometown of Jim Knopf, one of the most famous novels of Michael Ende. Michael Ende's characters have captivated generations of children of all ages. And to this day, Alexander Byrell remains fascinated by Enda's fantasy tales. 